Welcome to the isMemberUDA function. This function returns true if a specified member has a specified UDA or user-defined attribute. The syntax is at isMemberUDA, then the exact member you want to check, and then the exact string you want to check that member for. If that member has that UDA, it will return true. Normally you specify a specific member name, but you can specify a function that returns a specific member name. Now, if you don't want to check a specific member, but instead you want to check whatever member is currently being calculated, you wouldn't use this function. You'd use is UDA. UDA string is the text that you want to check for. If the condition is true, it will return a true, otherwise known as a one. If it's not true, it will return a false, otherwise known as a zero. And like all Boolean functions, you normally use it inside of an if, but there are plenty of cases where you wouldn't want to do that. So let's say we want to find out if Florida has the UDA of major market. We would just say is member UDA, Florida, comma, major market, and it is a string, so it has to be in quotes, so major market. That'll return a true because Florida is a major market. If I instead said is member UDA West major market, that's going to return a false because West actually doesn't have any UDAs, therefore it definitely doesn't have a UDA of major market. Now let's say we wanted to check the great state of Texas to see if the governor happened to be Edward Roski. We would say is member UDA Texas comma governor Edward Roski. Well, that's going to be false because that UDA doesn't actually exist anywhere on earth, let alone in our outline.